We can use a microscope to investigate whether guard cells are closing or opening stomata. If the stomata are closed, then this is what they would look like through the eyepiece of the microscope. If they were open, then this is what they would look like. So as well as looking at whether they are closed or open, can you think what else we might explore about stomata? We can also compare the distribution of stomata on the underside of leaves of different plants. For example, we can look at the stomata distribution on different plants that are adapted to different conditions. So plants that grow in hot, dry or windy conditions would have a stomata distribution like this. There are relatively few stomata to help prevent water loss. However, a plant that is adapted for a temperate climate, so a mild climate, would look more like this. There are more stomata to allow more gas exchange without the worry that the plant will lose too much water. Before moving on, see if you can think how we can work out how many stomata there are in a given area. We can work out how many stomata there are in a given area using a known scale. This diagram represents the view through the eyepiece of a microscope. On the eyepiece is a micrometer of a known scale. We need to count the number of stomata in an area at a known scale first to work out the number in a given area. So how can we calculate the number of stomata in a given area? If the area of this image is 0.02 mm squared, calculate how many stomata there are in an area of 0.1 mm squared. Let's work out the coverage in this instance. So the area is 0.02 mm squared. Let's note this down. Step 1. Count the number of stomata. If you take a moment to count the stomata in this image, you will count 18. Again, let's note this down. Step 2. Calculate how many times the area of this image goes into the area of interest. So in this question, the area of interest is 0.1 mm squared. We're going to divide this by the area of the image, which is 0.02 mm squared. Therefore, this would be the calculation. We'll note this down. And step 3. Multiply the number of stomata by this value. So we have 18 stomata and the value of 0.1 divided by 0.02 is 5. So we're going to do 5 multiplied by 18. This gives a total of 90 stomata per 0.1 mm squared. You need to be able to describe that the distribution of stomata can be investigated by counting the number of visible stomata in a known area and then multiplying this by the area of interest divided by the known area. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!